In this video, we're going to go over factoring by grouping, particularly when we have four terms. So let's begin with an example. Let's say if we have the polynomial x squared plus 4x minus 5x minus 20. So look at the coefficients of the first two terms and the last two. 4 divided by 1 is the same as negative 20 divided by negative 5. Both of these are equal to 4. And when you see that, that means that you can factor by grouping. If the coefficients of the first two terms have the same ratio as the last two, then this technique will work. So in the first two terms, take out the GCF, the greatest common factor, which is x x squared divided by x is equal to x. 4x divided by x is 4. Now, in the last two terms, factor out the greatest common factor, which is negative 5. Negative 5x divided by negative 5 is x. Negative 20 divided by negative 5 is positive 4. So notice that we have a common factor, x plus 4. If you see that, that tells you, or that means that you're on the right track. So factor out the common factor, which is x plus 4. If you take away x plus 4 from this entire term, what you're going to have left over is x. And if you remove x plus 4, what you have left over is negative 5. So this is the answer, x plus 4 times x minus 5. Try this example. 2x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 6. So let's check to see if we can factor by grouping. So let's find the ratio of the first two coefficients. Negative 3 divided by 2. And then for the last two, negative 6 divided by 4. Now let's reduce the fraction. Let's divide it by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So these two expressions, they have the, the same ratio, which means that we can use the factoring by grouping technique. So let's take out the greatest common factor in the first two terms. All we could take out in this problem is simply x. 2x squared divided by x is 2x. Negative 3x divided by x is negative 3. And for the last two terms, we could take out a 2. 4x divided by 2 is 2x. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So we have a common factor, 2x minus 3. So it's going to be 2x minus 3, and then x plus 2. That's going to go inside the next uh, parentheses. So this is the answer. Now you can check your work, and you can do so by foiling at what we have. So let's move this over here. So 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 2 is 4x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. So as you can see, we have the same answer, 2x squared minus 3x plus 4x minus 6. Let's try another example, but with a cubic polynomial. 3x cubed minus 12x squared plus 7x minus 28. So let's make sure that we can factor by grouping. Negative 12 divided by 3 is equal to negative 4. And negative 28 divided by 7 is also negative 4. So therefore, the first two coefficients and the last two, they have the same ratio, which means we could factor by grouping. So let's take out the GCF in the first two terms. So we can take out a 3, and we can take out an x squared. So 3x cubed divided by 3x squared is x 
negative 12x squared divided by 3x squared is uh, negative 4. Now, from the last two terms, we could take out a 7. 7x divided by 7 is x, and negative 28 divided by 7 is 4. So we have a common factor, x minus 4. So let's take out x minus 4, and then it's going to be 3x squared plus 7. So this is the final answer. Here's another one you could try. x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x minus 12. So let's see if this is going to work. 3 divided by 1 is 3. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is 3. So we can factor by grouping. So let's take out the greatest common factor in the first two terms. The greatest common factor between x cubed and 3x squared is x squared. x cubed divided by x squared is x. 3x squared divided by x squared is 3. Now for the last two terms, negative 4x minus 12, the GCF is negative 4. Negative 4x divided by negative 4 is x. Negative 12 divided by negative 4 is plus 3. So now let's take out x plus 3. So it's going to be x plus 3 times x squared minus 4. Now, we can take this further. We can factor x squared minus 4 using the difference of perfect squares technique. So the square root of x squared is x. The square root of 4 is 2. One is going to be positive, and the other is going to be negative. So this is the final answer. x plus 3 times x plus 2 times x minus 2. Consider this problem. 12xy plus 9x minus 20y minus 15. Go ahead and try this one. So let's make sure that it's going to work. 9 divided by 12, if we reduce it, by dividing each number by 3, this is going to be 3 over 4. A negative 15 over negative 20, we can reduce it by dividing each number by 5. This is going to be negative 3 over negative 4, which is 3 over 4. So the ratios between the first two and the last two terms are the same. So we can factor by grouping. So what is the GCF between the first two terms, between 12xy and 9x? So we know 12 and 9 are multiples of 3. So we could take out a 3, and they both contain the variable x. So the greatest common factor is 3x. 12 divided by 3 is 4. xy divided by x is simply y. 9x divided by 3x is 3. Now, what is the greatest common factor between negative 20y and negative 15? So we could take out a negative 5. Negative 20y divided by negative 5 is 4y. Negative 15 divided by negative 5 is plus 3. So we have a common factor, 4y plus 3. And outside of that is 3x minus 5. So this is the answer. Here's the last example that we're going to go over. 3x squared y plus 12x squared minus 3y minus 12. So can we factor by grouping? 3 and 12 have the same ratio as negative 3 and negative 12. So we could factor by grouping. Let's take out the GCF in the first two terms. So we could take out a 3 and an x squared. 3x squared y is simply y. 12x squared divided by 3x squared is 4. And in the last two terms, we could take out a negative 3. Negative 3y divided by negative 3 is y. And negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive 4. 
So we have the common factor, y plus 4. Now let's go ahead and take that out. So this term divided by y plus 4 is 3x squared. And this entire th term divided by y plus 4 is negative 3. Now we can simplify or we can factor this expression further. Notice that we have a common number 3. So let's take out 3. 3x squared divided by 3 is x squared and negative 3 divided by 3 is negative 1. So we can factor x squared minus 1 using the difference of squares technique. The square root of x squared is x the square root of 1 is 1. 1 is going to be positive, and the other will be negative. So this is the final answer for this particular problem.